Thirty-eight more time on this Saturday, July twenty-seventh, two thousand and thirteen. Time now for the weather magician with PJ Wiggins, the morning report. Saturday, July twenty-seventh, two thousand and thirteen. A good morning to you all on this lovely Saturday morning. Our current conditions at eight thirty a.m. in North Massachusetts. Temperature sixty-nine degrees with sunny skies with humidity ninety percent. Wind speed southwest about seven. Barometer 3.06 inches, 2.66 degrees, and a visibility of 7 miles. Alright, we're going to take a look at our radar, and it shows a couple of little rain showers off the Boston Harbor Coast. It, and a couple of little batch of showers extreme northeastern Maine, Fresh Island, and western New Brunswick. And this is two lines of precipitation. One from the West Virginia, stretching eastern West Virginia, stretching into western North Carolina, stretching in eastern Tennessee, stretching between northern South Carolina, and another batch of showers from northern Ontario, stretching with central Ontario, stretching through Ohio, down into southern Indiana, and through northern and central Kentucky, stretching into northern Tennessee. And another batch of showers from the southeastern Texas coast, stretching through Louisiana, stretching through Mississippi, stretching western Alabama, stretching through Arkansas, down in the southwestern Tennessee. And there'll be a line of other showers and storms from central Kansas, stretching it on in the southern, south central Nebraska, stretching in southwestern Nebraska here. And a couple of rain showers in nor north, northern Minnesota, stretching in northern Ontario. And a couple of little rain showers in western Texas, stretching in New Mexico, stretching out in southern New Mexico. And a couple of bouts of showers in southern Nevada, stretching in southwestern and southern Utah, stretching a number of batch of showers from central Utah, stretching in northeastern Nevada, stretching out in central Idaho, and a couple of batch of showers in no central Wyoming, stretching in southern Montana. And another batch of showers in Louisiana, northern Alberta, and a couple of batch of showers in northern Quebec, stretching in western Quebec, and northern Ontario. Turn off the radar. Let's turn off the radar. Turn on the side loop, and it shows a bunch of cloudiness from eastern Atlanta, Kansas, the stretching in north central Maine, and stretching all the way from the Maine coastline all the way down to the Florida coastline, down the Atlantic seaboard. And another batch of cloudiness from northern Ontario and northern Quebec, stretching down through eastern Great Lakes, stretching with Appalachians, and into the southeastern station and the Gulf Coast, stretching through southeastern Texas, stretching to North Mexico, stretching through the Four Corners region of Arizona, New Mexico, Utah, Colorado, stretching through eastern Nevada, stretching into eastern Idaho, and a couple of batch of cloudiness in western Canada. Okay, we are watching the tropics here. Dorian is weakening here. Movement 22 miles per hour, 275 degrees. Wind speed 40 miles per hour. Wind gusts about 50 miles per hour. Pressure 1,011 millibars. And it's. It's the National Balloon Classic. I love this. The skies will come. Gonna be a tropical depression about two o'clock, and it's gonna weaken in wind speed, and it's gonna run out of gas. We got my my low pressure system that will bring a lot of rain to either Cuba or maybe Florida. Okay, we are on the lookout for Trump's own Flossy. It's wild. Dorian is weakening. Flossy is strengthening. 19 miles per hour, 285 degrees. Wind speed, 70 miles per hour. Wind gusts, 85 miles per hour. And pressure, 995 millibars. And then it's going to move into the Hawaii coast and moving into Hawaii. So if you're in Hawaii, try to be prepared for some trouble storm winds either early. Late Monday night, early Tuesday morning. Be on the lookout for some trouble storm conditions, a lot of rain, and a few mudslides. All the way, 7 8 forecast goes like this. For today, most of the sunny skies high in the rain, 7 degrees, south wind about 5 to 10 miles per hour. For tonight, a slight chance of showers after 1 a.m., punchy fog after midnight. Otherwise, podcast skies will have a lower than 66 degrees. South wind about 6 miles per hour, but common common evening. Chance of precipitation 20%, but Sunday, uh, showers and thunderstorms likely, mainly between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. Patchy fog before 11 a.m. of ours, mostly cost guys with a high 83 degrees. Slight variable wind becoming northeast about 
Six mile five in the morning, chance of preservation, 60%. New rain fall mass between the 10th and the quarter inch, except for mass, possible thunderstorms. For Sunday night, a chance of showers and thunderstorms, mostly cascades with a low on 68 degrees, so winds. And chance of preservation, 30%. New rain fall mass of less than a 10th inch, except for mass, possible thunderstorms. For Monday, a chance of showers and thunderstorms, possibly sand skies, high in 5 degrees, slight southwest wind, increasing 5 to 10 miles per hour in the morning. Chance of preservation, 50%. New rain fall mass of less than a 10th inch, except for mass, possible thunderstorms. For Monday night, most Coast skies will run 62 degrees. We she is Tuesday, sunny skies high in the rain, 1 degrees. Tuesday night, most of the coast skies will run 62 degrees. Wednesday, sunny skies high in the rain, 2 degrees. Wednesday night, most of the cloud skies will run 66 degrees. Thursday, a chance of showers, most of the cloud skies high in the rain, 2 degrees. Chance of precipitation, 40%. Thursday night, a chance of showers, most of the cloud skies will run 66 degrees. And for Friday, a sunny skies high in the rain, 4 degrees. Peter's winner phrase of the day a sunny Saturday on tap. And a stormy Sunday on tap for Sunday. This is PJ Wings. I hope you have a good day with a good positive attitude here.